Hey, CDN's awesome viewers. As you know, CDN Game Guys is back up and running, so, um, you know, clap for that. Yeah, I can hear when you're clapping, you know that. Okay. So, um, I'm on my Druid today. Um, I'm going to be running a Instance Dungeon, whatever you want to call it for you guys, in a minute. But first, I decided maybe, you know, show my spec. Um, this is just my original spec. I've never really looked it up. I've kind of just read the stuff and, oh, this will work. Oh, this might not work. Um, so. If you think I have something that should be changed, I'll leave it in the comments. Um, I'll take your input. I'll look it up. I'll run some numbers. I don't really run numbers, but um, I'll think about it and you know, change it up if that's gonna help me heal. I do pretty good anyway, but we'll see. So here we go. Um, I'm level 77 right now. Um, so what I started off with, we got blessing of the grove, increases my the healing done. So technically my healing done by your rejuvenation by four percent and direct damage of your moonfire by six percent so i took that to uh... get my rejuvenation to do it because it's one of my main spells i figured yeah pick that up reduces the mana cost of all shape shifting by twenty percent and increases the duration of your tree of life form by six seconds which is really actually helpful keeps your tree of life up is what i took it and then we got naturalist reduces the cast time of your healing touch and nourish spells by zero point five feels like 0.5 seconds. Uh, it's, it's okay. I I don't know. Could have took Heart of the Wild maybe, increasing your intellect by 2% in addition. Beautiful. I could have took that maybe over this. I'm not really sure, but I, I don't know. I think that could make a difference sometimes in life or death. Life or death, I can hardly talk today for some reason. So, um, grants an effect which will last. The Druid is within the respective shapeshift forms. Tree of Life. I took this for the Tree of Life one. Uh, tree of Life. Caster form increases healing done by 4%. Yeah. Eh, I took it for that main purpose. Then we got Improved Rejuvenation. 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 Fuck. Increases the effect of your rejuvenation in Swift Med spells by 15%, which is a great increase, so that's nice. Um, Living Seed. When you critically heal a target with with med, regrowth, nourish, or healing touch spells, you plant a living seed on the target of 30% of the amount healed. The living seed will bloom when the target is next attacked. So it will heal them for 30% of like whatever you originally your crit heal was, which is, yeah, it could help you. It could give you a little boost in your healing there. Uh, revitalize when you periodically heal with your rejuvenation or life bloom spells, you have a 20% chance to in Instantly, you generate two percent of your total mana. This effect cannot occur more than once every twelve seconds. In addition, you also grant replenishment when you cast or refresh life bloom. Replenishment grants up to ten party members mana generation equal to one percent of their maximum. So that's a pretty cool spell. And then we got here we got uh, nature swiftness when activated. Your next spell. And uh, I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. I don't really ever use it. Seems like something it's useless. I never pop it or use it. I don't need it. But um leave your input on it. I might just not be using it for some dumb reason. So then we got nature's bounty increases the critical effect chance of your regrowth spell by sixty percent. In addition, when you have rejuvenation active on three or more targets, the cast time of your nourish spell is reduced by thirty percent, which is kinda really helpful if you get into a building big heat healing big healing frenzy increases the direct healing done by your healing touch regrowth and nourish spells by 10 percent and grants those spells a hundred percent chance to refresh the duration of your life bloom on targets pretty cool so it's basically like whenever I clutch healing done by your healing touch regrowth or nourish spells it replenishes my fucking bloom life bloom um, well, there's gift. Whenever you heal with your life bloom, your spell has a four percent chance to cause omen of clarity. In addition, the cooldown of your tranquility is reduced by five minutes. And this is tranquility, right? And reducing that by five minutes is really freaking helpful. So now we got the your swift med spells causes healing for the spot beneath the target. This is causes we, you'll see it in my when I hit Swift Med, it will cause like the healing to spread up around the ground and heal people, which is freaking I love that. Wild growth it can it's just like a quick like uh rejuvenation you pop in it, it goes onto instantly onto like half your party or most of your party. 
Improves your remove corruption spell, also removes the magic effect from friendly target, which you, helps you can remove more stuff, I guess. Whenever you take an attack while or at, well, or at below 50% health, you have a 100% chance to automatically cast your vegetation on yourself with no mana cost, which is really helpful. Uh, increase the healing done by your life bloom expires by 10% and causes your rejuvenation to spell the onset needs to heal for 10% of the top so that's cool and then we got a uh, swift med swift rejuvenation reduces the global cooldown so it reduces your cooldown of your rejuvenation which is nothing now right rejuvenation rejuvenation and then we got tree of life which basically lets you turn into the tree of life you become protected from polymorph effects and you do a lot more healing power and over here I put one into nature's grace lets me cast spells quicker basically um, here's my glyphs. I don't really have too many filled out here. I didn't have the money at the time. I really still, well, I have a hundred and something here. On this guy and on my banker, I have four more K, two more K. So I have about six K gold. So I have enough now to spend. So I'm gonna pimp out this. Um, I'm not gonna show you my talents for my other spec, but um, I will in the future. So, and here I'm 34 and 1. I still got a talent point to put up here. But I'm um, just waiting for my group to form here. And um, what I do in my spare time, I either quest. So, well, wait, wait. We're going to end this video, basically. So, like you see in my spec, leave your comments about it. And I um, hope you enjoy it. There should be another video coming out right after this. It will be me healing in a dungeon. So, with some live commentary, you know. So, uh, peace out. Remember to subscribe and like go check out our blog at terabytes.blogger.com um link will be in the description bar thing my jigger so um peace out gamers